Hello everybody. Today we'll see how to create a sample uh, web project using Maven. To do that, we need to right click, say new, go to other. You see Maven project here. If you don't see Maven project right under the wizards, you have a filter that you can type in the text and you can see say Maven and you see the Maven project. Click next. When you click next, there are a few default values. We let everything to be default. We don't create a simple project or anything because we'll be writing our own code. So we'll just ev let everything to be default and click next. And then it is retrieving the archetypes for us. What is this archetype? These archetypes are different uh, for each different application that we want to use. In here, we want to create a web app. So we search for web app. Okay and then in the filter you can see the different web apps j bundle related to j boss okay we will select j2 double e 1.4 we have 6 and 5 as well but there are few issues with maven and eclipse so we'll see in the next tutorial how to resolve them when we use 6 or 5 but in this we'll use j2 1.4 and then click next so the artifact ID is mainly the project that we want to create. That is my first web application. You can have any version number you want. You can even select, even even edit it. Okay. And as per the properties, there won't be any properties as of now because it's just a basic project. Click finish. So it's creating a web app based on all the dependencies and updating the dependencies. So once it's done, what you will see here is you will see M right above left hand side right above the project so you can see that's a maven project so this is the folder structure of the maven project okay and the main file in the maven is pom.xml file so what are all the dependencies you want what are all the plugins you want what it want what you want it to do you have to include everything in the pom.xml file because we have selected j2 e 14 what maven does is maven includes the servlet and gsp dependency by default for us because that is a web application that we have selected okay so to run a web application we need a server you can use jetty tomcat whatever you want in this tutorial i am using tomcat so you can refer to my other tutorials where you will see how to plug in tomcat into eclipse okay after we plug in tomcat into eclipse i have used tomcat 7 as per the maven we need to add it to the plugin so presently the compiler for the maven is maven compiler but you need to replace that with tomcat so this would be org.apache.tomcat.maven and this would be artifact id would be tomcat 7 is my version that i have okay so include tomcat 7 underscore maven and the version of tomcat that i am using is 7 so as per the configuration i won't have anything as of now so this is how you set tomcat as a plugin into this so when we create a default web application what it does is it creates an index.jsp file so this is just a blank jsp file which says hello world so uh, if you see web.xml file in web app web inf web.xml file the welcome file is the index.jsp file so whenever you run a, a web application on a server the default file would be launched that is the welcome file index.jsp now we'll see the same thing over here so we don't start the tomcat manually we'll pass a command to maven saying that run the tomcat okay and then uh, you go to pom.xml file right click run as you say maven clean what maven clean does is it cleans all the files if there are any previous files it deletes the target folder where exactly the tomcat is if you have the war files it deletes it clean make it clean xml file run as maven generate sources so it will generate all the required sources and it builds the file for us successfully but few instances what we see is in the problems there is a project configuration which is not up to date so we right click on it say quick fix so what it does is it uh, it updates the project configuration file for us automatically so there are no problems 
okay after we fix the problem it's just a basic problem that it occurs whenever we create a maven web application sometimes in eclipse so it is not a very big issue you can just quick fix it now right click run as maven build this is the default one but if you have already some configuration setup you can select this if not you, we need to select this because we need to pass some configurations to it so what configurations based on the server that you are using we need to tell uh, maven that run that particular server so my server that i'm using is tomcat so i would say tomcat colon run so that is the main goal that it has to do okay and the base directory should be always your uh, main project so that that is where we need to run it and then click run so when we click run what it does is it runs the tomcat and it runs the war on the tomcat so now open this console you see it scans the projects builds the application uh, and see if there are any dependencies there are few warnings saying that it's missing but it still runs for you uh, so when you go down you see running a war on this one so it has created a war and it, the war is run and it all it created a war and then it deployed the war on the server so we can just go ahead you can open this in any browser you can select here you can select a browser copy paste and just enter you will see hello world you see hello world so this is how we do uh, create a basic web application using maven maven builds the application and maven deploys the war uh, in the next tutorial we'll see how to create a war manually and then how to deploy it into the tomcat so here it what it did it, it did it automatically that it created a war and it deployed it on the server in the next session we'll see how to create a war and then deploy it into tomcat manually i hope this tutorial is helpful thank you